hello good morning all today in this video we are going to discuss regarding the keyword active id in odoo development so currently in the screen you are seeing odoo version 14 community edition where we are continuing our odoo 14 development tutorials so in this video we will be discussing about the keyword active id in odoo development so i'll be explaining some use cases where you can utilize the concept of active id so if i go to the hospital menu let me go to the hospital and here we have the patient records and recently in action button we have added the create appointment action create appointment action using the server action so right now when i click on create appointment you can see a wizard will be open ups and from here you can select the date and you can select the patient and create an appointment so let's take a case suppose if i am opening if i click create appointment from here that is currently you can see current record is matthew and if i click on create appointment i have to get the default value as matthew here that is i need to get the cell current record in the default value that is here you can see this is jennifer so once i click on create appointment from jennifer i need to get jennifer automatically filled in this field so let's see how we can do that using active id so what i'll do is that the create appointment so let me activate the debug mode first so i'll go to settings and from the settings i'll just activate the debug mode and if i come back to hospital i'll open jennifer and if i click on create appointment you can see its corresponding model so if i click on the debugger button and if i click on edit view form you can see the model is create appointment wizard so let me take the corresponding model so this is my custom add-ons path and if i open the om hospital and if you go to wizards folder here you have create appointment dot py create appointment wizard so what i'll do is that i'll override the default get method of this model so i think we already have learned about the default get function so if i search inside the odoo source code for default get i'm searching inside our module only so this is the sample that we have done for patient model so let me copy this sample Control c and i'll put it inside create appointment model and here i have to specify the class name so the class name is create appointment wizard and i'll remove this line so what i have done is simply i have overrided the default get function that is default get and you can write res equal to super of super of fields similarly you can override or super an existing function and i'll simply add a print statement here print and i'll print the context self dot context i'll print the context and let me refresh restart the service so what i have done is simply i have overrided the default get method of create appointment wizard model and added a print statement to print the context now i'll go back to browser and what i'll do i'll simply click on create appointment so i have clicked the create appointment and if you check the log you can see self dot context has been get printed here and if you check the context you can see you have language tz that is time set time zone info and user id is two allowed company ids and you have an id called active id here so here you can see active id or you have active ids when you are selecting from the tree view you will have multiple records so right now you can see you have got active id here so if you check this id if i close this you can see this is the id of the patient so if i go to the next record that is Anne matthew and her id is six so let me clear the log and if i click on create appointment right now you can see id is six and you can see active id is six so simply what you can do you can pass a rest of patient id so I'm passing the default value for patient ID as self dot context. I'm taking the value from context self dot context dot get active ID. So I'll take this and I'll put it here. So what I'm doing is that I'm taking the active ID from the context and I am assigning to the patient ID field that is 
field in the wizard so let me restart so once earlier when we click the create appointment the patient field was coming empty so right now i'll close this so here you can see the patient is and matthew and if you click on create appointment you can see and matthew is coming as default value from our code so this is the how we can set default value using the active id so if i go to the next record or if i come back to jennifer and if i click on create appointment you can see jennifer is coming here so if i go to the next record matthew and if i click on create appointment you can see matthew is coming as default value so this is an use case in python side we can use it in xml side also and i'll just add an if condition here in some cases we might don't get the active id so in order in not to get an error first i'll just add an if condition if context dot contain active id i'm assigning that active id to patient id so this is an use case that you can try from python side just to get active id from context now we will be discussing an use case from the xml side so in the previous video we have added the smart buttons so if i click on the smart button you can see the appointment of matthew and if you click on create you can see it is coming as empty so here we have to get matthew as a default value so if you go to contacts if i go to contacts and if you take deco addict so here you can see our current record is deco addict and if i click on sales you can see it deco addict has two sales and if you click on create you can see deco addict is coming as default value so if i go back to hospital and if you go to the patients and if i click on jennifer and if i click on appointments and if i click on create it's coming as empty so let's see how we can pass the jennifer as default value here so right now on clicking this button what is getting executed so if you check edit view form you can see action open appointments this function is getting executed so i'll copy this function and if i search this inside our module so let me search for action open appointments here we have the corresponding function and here what i'll do inside the context so let me add a context for this return so in this return you have to return a dictionary and what i'll do what i'll do i'll set like default this is not a use case that i'm wrong with that so anyway i'll set here default patient id equal to self dot id so here i'll pass the default value like default of field name equal to self dot id so default patient id equal to self dot id so let's see that so if i come back and if i click on action appointments and if i try to click on here you can see jennifer is coming as default value so in this case we haven't used active id actually we have to not to do from here so if i go to the doctor's form here we have defined a action of type xml so if you check this form view edit view form view doctor form and if i open the corresponding form view so i'll go to pycharm and let me open find in path here you can see the form view of doctor here you can see on clicking this button so if you click on this appointments button you will be getting appointments of this doctor so this is coming from this action that is action open appointments this action so here you can see we have given the domain based on active id so this is an use case of active id that is in order to filter the records of current doctor we have given the domain as doctor id equal to active id so similarly in order to set suppose if i come and open the appointments from here you can see appointments of philip and if i try to create new record it is coming empty we have to set doctor philip here as a default value so what you have to do in the context you can pass default doctor id equal to active id so we are setting the default value for doctor as the current record so simply we have added default underscore doctor id equal to active id so let's restart the service and upgrade the module and see what happens so right now you can see when we click on the appointments button and if i click on create 
it is coming as empty so let's see the change after upgrading the odoo 14 development tutorials so if you haven't got this module just download it from the odoo app store or you can get it from our github repository so the module has been upgraded now if i come back to hospital then to the doctor's form view and if i open philip he has got 24 appointments i'll click on that you can see 24 appointments and if you click on create you can see the philip is coming as default value so if i go to the another doctor called uh, james he has got 11 appointments and if you click on create you can see james is coming as default value so this is the use case of active id in odoo so similarly you have active ids suppose if you are executing an action suppose if you are executing an action from tree view some tree view like what i can say suppose what i can say what is the server action that we have added recently in the appointment recently in the patient form view we have added a server action and we have limited its binding view type as form so what i'll do i'll give here as tree form that is what i'm doing is that recently we have added a create appointment option here and we have limited it only to show in the form view so let's take a case where we have to show that in the tree view also so i have added binding view type as tree comma form and let me restart the service and let's upgrade the module nc so i'll duplicate this tab and i'll go to apps menu and i'll upgrade our module so let's upgrade and see so the module is getting upgraded and if i refresh and if i select the record you can see still it's not available so what i have to do i'll go to settings and i think the server action is not getting updated so let me search for the server action create appointment here we have the create appointment and what i'll do i'll simply delete this one create contextual action let me restart so what i'll do i'll just delete this record i'll delete it from the database and i'll upgrade the module once again so i'll upgrade the module so we have specified binding view types as tree comma form so let me restart still it's not visible i think something wrong with what we have given so let me check this inside the odoo source code binding view types so find in path and if i search for binding view type yeah in actually you have to instead of tree you have to give it as list that's why you are not getting it so let me upgrade upgrade the module once again so i'll go to the apps menu and from the apps menu i'll just upgrade the odoo 14 development tutorials so the module has been upgraded now if i come back to the hospital i'll select the patients here you have the create appointment button so once you click on that and what is our create appointment we saw it. create appointment and if you print the context here if i print the context context self dot context so if i print the self dot context and let me delete and if i come back here and i'll select what i'll do i'll select couple of records that is i'll select michelle and matthew and if you click on create appointments you can see in active ids you have nine and eight so similarly this is the use case of active id and active ids in odoo version 14 so if you like the video please do click the like button and subscribe the channel so that you will be getting notified regarding all the upcoming updates so that's it for the day have a nice day thank you